guys yet another important conversion as far as flip flops are concerned and as far as exam point of view a repeatedly asked uh, flip flop conversion in exam point of view d flip flop to a sap flip flop so a suggestion to the beginner uh, straight away jumping into the conversion process is a tedious one unless and until you understand the truth tables and excitation tables all right so suggested to go through that go through get used to the excitation tables and truth tables and then go for the conversions uh, in this case so you one have to interpret that this will be the this is the given flip flop and this is the destination flip flop which we have to design making use of the conversion process all right for that guys remember we need to make uh, get ready with a tabular form which consists first which consists the truth table of the destination flip flop two isn't it so this will be the destination flip flop and uh, we'll have to get ready the truth table of the destination flip flop and in this case it's sr flip flop so the next state will be like what if what is the next state 0 0 0 0 it's a no change condition like uh, if the present state is 0 even the next state also will be 0 if it is 1 even the next state no change it's continuous as it is all right let me not waste your time it's 0 1 combination it's always all the values of s will be uh, the next state all right so in that case it's a 0 1 and it will continue with the 0 and 0 1 it the output if we have the present state to be 1 that will be forced to 0 all right 0 1 combination why because it's a reset and 1 0 being set condition it will be 1 over here and even this is 1 so this is invalid let's make use of that to be a don't care over here don't care invalid not i mean if one one and it cannot predict what will be the next state so let that be like a don't care condition to minimize the switching condition all right and yeah we are done with the truth table of the destination flip flop what next we have now we have to get ready another column what does that consist like making use of this present state and next state we'll have to fill this column the excitation inputs for this one all right so this one this comes over here like uh, excitation table of the given flip-flop so zero zero condition what if what is that zero zero and d is zero excitation table of the um, given flip-flop this is the truth table of the sr destination flip-flop all right so close this away we don't for the time being we don't need this two columns making use of the present state and the next state and um, that excitation inputs 1 1 and it's 1 over here see 1 1 present state is 1 next state is 1 so we need uh, input d input to be 1 excitation table of the given flip flop 0 0 it's a 0 1 0 1 0 it's a 0 0 1 it's a 1 1 1 it's a 1 and we don't have this combination from that so let that be treated as a don't care don't care over here all right so to remember whatever the next state the same thing will be d whatever the next state the same thing will be d remember this one from for the excitation table for the excitation table to be easier to remember easier whatever the next state the same thing will be d what is the next state the same thing will be d irrespective of the present state all right zero it's a zero one it's a one zero it's a zero it's a one it's a one all right so we are done with this one as soon as we complete this tabular form will have to get a k map ready thing is uh, we have to express d in term in terms of s r and q n so we don't need this to avoid confusion i am erasing this away all right so to avoid confusion i am erasing this away we'll have to express d we'll have to express d in terms of s r q n so three variable k map we have to get ready here three variable k map like this three variable k map to reduce it yeah we are almost there all right so for s s over here and r and q of n there was a question there is a question can we interchange these um, elements over here definitely there isn't any problem there won't be any problem um, the answer will be same the destination the final destination will be the same all right so this is uh, according to that k map it's a zero it's a one all right so this will be what it will be s bar this will be zero s bar and this will be s and what are the combinations over here so zero zero 
and continuation to that one zero and one and continuation to this one it's a one and one and continuation to this one it's a one and zero am i correct of course i had to repeat the video again because i went wrong somewhere else over here all right so what to do with this one what to do i have the tabular form i have the k map ready so what to do so d we are evaluating for d d in terms of s r and q n isn't it so uh, wherever we find one for that particular combination just plug in one over here what is this combination we have a one over here let's check we have a one over here for which combination zero zero and one which zero zero and one s is equal to zero r equal to zero and q n equal to one s is equal to zero r equal to zero and q n equal to one we have one over here this one zero zero one 0 0 1 we have a 1 over here we are done with this one so 0 0 0 okay but uh, no need to plug in over here another one over here here another one for what combination for what combination of s r and q n 1 0 and 0 am i correct 1 0 and 0 where do we have that one 1 0 and 0 we here it's a 1 from this side and 0 and 0 from that side another one another one 1 0 1 1 0 1 from this side and 0 1 from that side so we have another one over here all right so we are done with this one also so don't cares come over here 1 1 0 1 1 0 we have a don't care over here we da, we have a don't care another don't care comes over here 1 1 1 1 r 1 and q n 1 and this is also a don't come don't care condition over there all right so as soon as we are done with the Okay, ma'am, what to be done? What are we, what will be, what will we search for? Uh, octal combinations, quads and pairs, isn't it? So, we have a, uh, no octals, we have a quad and this is the quad over here. This four, these four combinations, this, this, this one, this one forms a quad. In a sense, one term from this quad and another plus another term from this pair. This pair gives another term, this plus the sum of that, isn't it? So, this one. So, what do we have? What term will be left over with this quad? So, how to, uh, what are we trying for? D in terms of S, R and Q n, isn't it? This one plus this one. All right. So, what do, what information do we have from here? It's a 1, 0, 0. It's a 1, 0, 0 from this cell what information this cell gives 101 101 from here and what does this give 111 it's a 111 and what does this give 110 110 all right check something is constant throughout the cells and some is some uh, some quant i mean some element is changing here s is constant throughout the cell and so we have s at the end 0011 and 1010 like um, yeah we don't consider that it's changing so this gets reduced all right this gets reduced so what do we have um, s from the quad okay so we are done with that one s from the quad uh, what that pair gives this one um, 001 again we are trying for s r q n reduction d in terms of this one all right so from here we have zero zero one all right and from this cell this pair i'm talking about this pair uh this cell gives us zero one zero one isn't it this one one zero one it's a one zero one all right so here this is changing zero one this is changing this gets reduced and we are left with r bar why r bar it's a zero so r bar it's a q n so the s from the quad plus r bar q n from the pair combination all right so now we have to realize this and we can say that yeah that's the final destination that's the final conclude i mean conversion and which one is given which flip-flop is given a uh, d is given all right we have a d flip-flop given flip-flop d so this will be the input d what do we have over here it's q n and it's complement over here q n bar all right and uh, uh, you need to understand that so what what operation is taking place between r bar and q n here we have we have two terms over here uh, one is s 
plus r bar q n so what are what operation is taking between r bar and gate sir it's a and operation it's a and operation we need a and gate to produce this one and we need or gate to produce this one isn't it so uh, sr flip flop i have two inputs s and r i have r but i need r bar all right i need r bar so just an inverter a not gate which gives me r bar all right so on the other hand uh, get a wire connection from get a wire connection from qn just overlap guys i i forgot you may be question me we have a clock okay we have a clock over here we have a clock and no way connected to d over here it's a clock you i'll be question and so a wire connection from qn a wire connection from qn and giving us input to and gate giving as input to and gate that gives us that gives us r bar dot q n isn't it so yeah this is the signal over here so s and over here when this signal and this is given to and gate sorry i am taking back my word or gate or gate here over here and the output will be from this point the output will be s plus r bar q n which is equal to d and this is the final conversion thanks for watching